Hey Collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a pick a card on what does your guardian angel want you to know or what does your guardian want you to know? What messages does your guardian angel or just guardian in general, what messages do they have for you today? I would like to say thank you for all of the subscribes, the comments, the likes, the booking of reading, the sharing, the videos is all so very appreciated and I truly do thank you for still, you know, being here, you know, even though my time to leave, I truly do appreciate it. So I love you, by the way, like always. Let's not go right ahead and get into the video for today. So we do have four piles to choose from. Pile number one is going to be Soul Child, card number 14, as well as this Spirit Quartz here. So this is all pile one. Pile two is going to be 1111, messages in the numbers as well as this rainbow moonstone. Okay. Pile number three will be star child here, as well as this rainbow fluorite. Be sure to take your time. It's definitely not a rush with these piles. You can even choose more than one, so be wary of that. And pile number four is hold your center with this raw citrine here. So of course, timestamps will be in the description as well as anything you'd like to know about this reading today. Um, I will definitely see what your timestamps or see what your readings. And I will see you there. Hey, Paul number one, if you have chosen this Spirit Quartz Crystal or the Soul Child card here, then this is your reading for what does your guardian or guardian angel want you to know right now? Like what messages do they have for you so let's actually go ahead and tap in and see i had got messages from like orlando florida that may be significant for you as well as like something about some kind of great arc or some kind of um energy on the horizon meant just for you pile number one there's also something about um, your inner child that seems to be coming through something about how your energy is like um, on the rise as we speak there's this energy of all encompassing as well something is being smoothed over as well there's also something about um, how rooted you are within your own dreams the things how rooted you are within your own soul as well as what i'm hearing there's something about how you accepting this um new version of yourself will allow you to move forward in some kind of way i do i actually felt called to like read this from the book not literally all of it but just like a little peek into because i do like how the light is shining on this child here as well as with the bear and then there's a, like another figure right over here that kind of looks like it's aiming for this light just as the sun is i said the sun but the child truly i'm getting this energy that um there's some kind of a gift coming in for you dear beautiful souls of my pile number one there is a wonderful gift coming in for you this gift has this energy of being all-encompassing like it radiates from source the divine this divine light 
that radiates through all of your aspects is what I'm hearing. Your divine feminine, your divine masculine, your inner child, your shadow, as well as your higher self. All of these energies seems to be very important at the moment, as well as even with the number 14, it kind of gives that temperance energy. So it's almost as if things are being tempered at the moment when it comes to your soul, as well as understanding that you yourself are a child that understands their soul or you operate from a place of your soul more so than a place of your 3D vessel. And these are just things that I'm hearing for you, Paul number one. As I look for this book so that we can get a deeper message. Okay, what do we have here? 14. The rebirth is upon you beautiful child of the universe you have prepared for a new life and it is starting right now the divine moment of rebirth which occurs after a period of struggle or intense inner work and physical transformation so definitely i was getting that energy for you like you've gone through transformation after transformation after transformation after transformation after transformation to a point where it's like when will this ever you know come to an energy of me being on the opposite end of me being in the energy of where it is I want to be. So it says, the divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle or intense inner work and physical transformation has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventure enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. It says you have undergone the depth of the old order wow nothing is as, as it was nor will it be so again you have had to learn detachment to release and let go over and over again in so many ways you have experienced inner death as i was saying as you have barely surrendered what which no longer serves your growth this lifetime even if you once lived it loved it dearly or couldn't imagine life without it so there's definitely an energy of you moving forward this card can also indicate that a child around you, perhaps one about whom you have been thinking deeply, is particularly gifted or spiritually oriented. That's what I'm saying. This could literally be you, your own children, or even those that you um, surround yourself with. Something about some form of an inner child or youthful energy has is very gifted spiritually. This card may also be a sign that a new business idea, professional or personal relationship or lifestyle choice is going to support the growth of your spirit in a positive and encouraging way. Rebirth is going to happen. This is so interesting. Do not give up. Sometimes it is the darkest just before the dawn. I love this energy. Love this energy. Because that's true confirmational and you transforming right now and you going through this kind of rebirth as well as you being gifted as a soul on this plane of existence in this moment so okay let's delve deeper and see I'm glad we got that information here on the board for you so of course we have some oracle here we have some tarot some more tarot and oracle it's not that long but i do want to see what other messages does your guardian angel have for you today we have celebrate the sacred gap give thanks for buffer time it's an interesting energy and like right now it gives this um what is this like a, um a void kind of energy more so like being on the fence or um being in limbo that's what this kind of card reminds me of someone that's in limbo and then you have the soul child here with celebrate the sacred gap. This is interesting. The divine light around you is literally transforming your life. It's something that I'm hearing. I love how there's a child here and then there's like this divine feminine here in this figure. There's also other people I believe around hmm give thanks for buffer time there's this energy of being grateful for what is around you right now 
There's also something about how you've overcome many challenges, like mountain after mountain. You've seized victory each time, and even now you are seizing victory is something that I'm hearing. The sacred gap, like things around you are happening as they are meant to happen. Like right, Even right now as we speak, you are in the right place, the right time, the right moment to be grabbing these messages from your guardian angel or your guardian in general um bears seem to be significant as well you could have a bear totem or this is your guardian it is some form of bear i'm being drawn to ursa major and ursa minor energies these are like the big dipper and the little dipper these energies may be significant for you Mm, four seems to be significant as well here just as i say that three and one reduced to a four so four is definitely significant here we have seventh house with partners mm. Mm. yeah libra could be significant here What's interesting is I'm being drawn to how like, um, how the divine operates within you. Like I'm truly getting this energy of your divine feminine and your divine masculine being in like a strong connection right now in this moment. It's interesting. It's like you're very balanced right now. It's something that I'm hearing from your guardian angel. This is something that you need to know from your guardian. What's in this car? This is so interesting. There's truly something about like relationships here. Who you surround yourself with, when you surround yourself with these energies. And truly being able to see that the cosmos has your back 100%. You are in connection with the cosmos, the cosmos, the cosmic energy. that or you have such strong support in the ethers is also something that I'm getting you have guidance as well here from some kind of warrior spirit is something that I'm getting they use a spear it gives like um, like they're a part of some kind of pantheon or something like that like they've led wars is something about this spirit that's guiding you Okay, let's delve deeper. What do we have? We have Earth Mother here. Stop playing. That's another four. You can't make this up. I don't even know if it's like four, four, four for you. Like basically saying you're in this protected energy. I'm being drawn to happiness as well with the four. So this is something that you are being guided towards is happiness. You have Psychic Recharge, Grounded Healer, Mentor, as well as Layers here. With this raven or a crow, I'm truly getting this energy of like the underworld or one that's able to listen to the energies of the earth, the air, um, fire and water. Something about the elements and being able to listen to the messages that they have for you. In times when you do go outside to ground yourself, um, pile number one, there's this energy that you are being psychically recharged as well as... Um, there's something about when you do ground, you're healing more than just yourself. You're healing the energy around you. And this is very interesting. I'm also hearing that there are layers to your energy, which is very interesting. There's almost this, I'm seeing someone as a being pulsating high vibrational energy out from themselves. This energy is letting other guides and beings of your nature understand that you are prepared to move forward you are in this rebirth energy maybe there's this energy that your guardian angel wants you to know that you will soon be partnered up with another energy that almost is just like yourself more so in an energy that literally psychically recharges and heals mentors other individuals whether they be children or um mature adults there's this energy of you being able to mentor others here 
There's basically something within your soul that is very enlightened, something that is very knowledgeable to others around you. Um, something about you being rebirthed into this energy seems to be very important. So let's go ahead and look into your tarot. See what we have here. We have Child of Painting. Very um, curious energy, very adventurous energy is what I'm getting from just this card alone. And it's interesting because there's so much childlike energy here within your reading. Then you have Earth Mother and Mentor. Maybe the Earth is mentoring you in, in some certain kind of way allowing you to understand some kind of high vibrational energy that is right in front of you there's also something about being present here allowing yourself to um feel the joy in the air dolphins could also be something that is significant for you i'm also hearing from your guardian or your guardian angel they want you to i'm hearing spread your wings they want you to be more in a happy go get it energy know that literally you have giant support around you Next, look, you can't make this up. You have assistance here, and I'm hearing a siren outside, so Archangel Michael could be significant for you, or just this energy of you having much assistance. And I like how, like, the sun is rising in this card, and it kind of gives that same vibe here. What does your guardian angel or your guardian want you to know? They want you to know that you have assistance. And I love how two painting cards came out. And these are water cards here. You are literally being assisted as we speak. There's almost this energy of, like I said, you being in between two worlds right now. And your guys, your angels, um, your guardian, they understand this energy. They know that basically you are right now submerged into um, the subconscious and the conscious realm of what's happening around you. They are assisting you in this energy. It's like they're assisting you in the rising or in the coming of a new age within your energy. So let's see, let's delve deeper. What do we have? Lost lands. We have soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. You're about to receive something. Those of my power number one, you're about to receive some kind of gift. This may be a memory of some sort because I do kind of get that energy. There's a lot of water here. Lost lands, soul memories, and gifts. I'm hearing this is sacred, which is interesting because you have the sacred gap here. You even have celebrate the sacred gap. So there's a lot of like high vibrational energy when it comes to like I'm getting four of wands energy here. It's making me think that you're about to walk into like maybe the happiest moment of your life and you're having assistance in this moment. When I, when I see this, you've done this before. I'm getting this energy that your soul has done something of the likings of whatever you are going through right now in the moment before in a previous lifetime so this is almost like just a reiteration of an energy basically saying that you will and you can overcome this energy this rebirth that's happening for you there's so much blues and reds here within the cards as well so let's see let's delve deeper and see we have more tarot here oh the high priestess you definitely are connected to some kind of like knowledge some kind of like secret energy that's only meant for you that's how i know this is like something for and it does remind me of this soul memories and gifts energy here um one of your guardians could literally be a bear um it could be a wolf it could be a raven it can be another human being it can be a dolphin it can be the elementals themselves but truly it's a lot of energy here for you pile number one I'm hearing there's something about you being crowned right now in this moment. Um, something about the sun and the moon have blessed you in some kind of sense. It's like you are abundantly full with this energy of um, mastery. Interesting. That's something that I heard. Beauty is also coming through as well here. We have the Ten of Swords. 
whenever I see the Ten of Swords, I hear like betrayal or um, in this case, there's regeneration here because of the starfish. Oh, then again, like I said, it's like you've went through so many transformations. You've excelled and pushed past many limits that have been set for you. You've been constantly achieving things left and right from upon the Rwanda. This is what the guardian angels or guardians around you would like you to know is that you are taking in and heeding the messages given to you and taking action accordingly you are connected to the divine here with this high priestess energy you understand things that are on the unseen realm it's like you're very intuitive here you follow your intuition quite literally all the time if not this is something that they want you to do is follow your intuition I'm also hearing that by you following your intuition, you may come into contact with um, certain individuals or certain things that no longer vibe with your energy. And this could relate with other partners as well. Hmm. Maybe in some, in some kind of way, like um, your energy was betrayed by someone else. Like they couldn't quite really catch on to your energy in the right way that you had hoped or expected. There's also something about um, the final blow, some kind of energy about maybe even you making the final blow, you having the final say in something. very intuitive very keen it's like you follow the natural instincts given to you maybe you've had lifetimes um as these animals here to where you've been given their gifts so maybe you have the sight of a wolf here the scent like you your nose is almost that of a wolf here from a pile number ones you regenerate through things like a starfish you know it's things like that seem to be relevant here it's like you're gifts are coming online like that's what i'm saying with this soul memories and gifts something is like being given to you for you having done so many things you can't make this up we have the seventh house again with relationships and partners there's something about the people that you um ordain yourself with something about like you know something about some kind of relationship here or maybe something has happened within some kind of relationship some kind of partnership maybe one is coming in for you but with this ten of swords here it doesn't give so much of a good high vibrational energy but it seems as though you have overcome whatever energy it might be especially with this assistance here and then six of painting is more so like the six of cups so that's more like past nostalgic energy you even have the child of painting here so this could be an energy of you coming into some kind of relationship or partnership with another and it's saying that you've met before these two souls have met before in another lifetime in another world in another galaxy maybe but it's interesting because there are layers to this energy here You could definitely be coming into some kind of relationship soon. What's the final card for you? We have willpower here. This is very interesting. Something about how your willpower will take you very far in this season of your energy. Pile number one. This is what your guardian angel wants you to know. Something about literally you having the willpower to achieve anything here. something about your relationships your partners maybe this is the time for you to psychically recharge ground and get back into the energy of yourself know that you are being assisted here you're being guided to create is something also that i'm hearing let's get some more information i'm gonna pull more actually we're gonna go here what do we have what is the message here? Mm -hmm. 
Nine of Wands. That's that celebrate the sacred gap energy. You have Eight of Swords. The Chariot, definitely on that moving forward. And the Tower here. What, what's this Eight of Swords? Mm. And then we got the King of Cups too. Right now I'm hearing that um, there's this energy of, um, oh, and then the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, not being able to see the truth in some kind of situation here. Especially with this Nine of Wands, the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords is like the wounded healer, the wounded warrior here wants to keep moving forward, but you know, keeps experiencing this energy of um, maybe pain or constantly being pushed back in the energy when they want to move forward. Something literally came crumbling down here. This may be something that you have asked for with this willpower here. We have the Four of Cups as well. This is so interesting with the Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, and then the Four of Cups over the King of Cups. It's making me think about like literally an energy of one not wanting to accept a certain energy because they know more than what's being shown. They're following their intuition in some kind of sense here. But we have the Emperor and taking in like strong authority in that essence this is that energy this is that willpower that i was talking about especially with this ten of swords something has happened here and you've made um yep one more car spirit just to confirm because you have the world here basically saying that some kind of cycle has ended and you're moving into something better here as well as you being very protected and there's the four of wands that we said earlier strong energies um fruit may be significant for you as well Seven of Swords, Nasty Energy with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups as well as the Lovers. Something is coming in for you. And I feel like I've said this before. They just want you to celebrate this gap right now that you are in. This moment of stillness, this energy of you so that you can like um, become enlightened seems to be the energy pound number one. You are right now in this moment of stillness, um, stagnicity possibly. It's because you are right now receiving these memories these gifts of your soul from the experiences that you are experiencing they want you to celebrate this moment we have the eight of wands at the bottom of the deck like i said something is coming in for you this could even be some kind of message of high honor this is interesting right now i feel like this is all that i have for you though from your guardian angel pond number one i hope that you enjoy be sure to give the video a comment a like um, subscribe if you feel called to and I will see you around, dear beautiful soul. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab, like, uh, something from over here. Oop, already came up. What's the message? We have worlds aligned here. Upward spiral of grace. Worlds aligned. We also have water here. Connections to realms. Cleansing the flow state. We definitely have a lot of water cards here on the board for you. So... You're definitely connected to different realms as we speak, Paul number one, as well as you are cleansing. I love this. You have activations, downloads. This is the sun card. You have Ra, um, awakenings. You have new truths here as well. The creator loves you. I love you. You also have Kundalini awakenings. It truly just seems like a lot of truth is coming online for you. You have Asgard here as your final card. Getting protection from higher planes. Higher power is at play right now. High vibrations, anchoring high vibes to earth you are literally this person bringing in these high vibrational energies into the earth it's like you're like this um you're a lightning rod for what it is that the divine has for you when it comes to abundance and things of that nature bottom of the deck again we have high vibrations you're in a beautiful energy palm number one and i love to see it and this is what your guardian angels want you to know as well that you are in this high vibrational energy as well as you are getting assistance when it comes to your relationships. Um, pay attention to your seventh house energy in your natal chart as well. That may be significant for you. Um, as well, be wary of the energies that you are um, blocking yourself off from as well. But right now, you doing what you're doing seems to be literally the right movement because it seems as though you are doing things for yourself right now. 
You are knowing what you do not want and what you do want. You are knowing how to move forward as well. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you out on that. I love you, dear beautiful soul, and I hope you have a wonderful time after reading. Hey, poem number two. If you have chosen this rainbow moonstone or this 1111 messages in the numbers, then this is your reading for what does your guardian angel or guardian want you to know right now? What are the messages that they have for you? Let's tap in and see. So really, just like off the um, first card, the front card that you have here, there's a rainbow right here. So definitely miracles are within your energy. This is what your guardian wants you to know right now. There's also something about um, paying attention to nature. Meditating as well seems to be significant for you. Paying attention to... Um, because numbers are all around 100%. You can almost... Um, if you are ever in nature, you can, I guess, count how many bundles of flowers are within a certain area because that's something i don't know how many petals are on a flower how many um how many leaves a branch has something about this seems to be significant here it's really about just paying attention to the numbers the messages of course you could have been seeing 11 11 a lot this could be your confirmation or you must have recently seen 11 11 or when you do see 1111, they want you to think of this message. There is a waterfall here on this card as well. So it's making me think about um, you being given much abundance here from your guardian or your guardian angel. There's also an energy of um, you pouring from your heart space here. There's this like um, connectivity energy here, one feeling very connected within themselves as well as their surroundings. There's truly something here about um, you receiving some kind of download or getting some kind of message from um, the numbers that you've been seeing. We're going to definitely be delving deeper to see more about this energy I'm trying to look for a good place to put this rainbow moonstone it is definitely very um receptive energies for you pile number two it seems as though you are willing to receive the energy that is being given and it seems to be very fru fruitful very abundant very colorful here interesting energies so let's actually delve in and see what does your guardian angel or guardian wants you to know we do have some tarot here some oracle and then some more tarot to go through as well as oracle again so let's see <clears throat> your companion if you do have a cat dog um any kind of animal um they seem to be significant in this reading for you we have trip the light fantastic i love this energy this is like one of my favorite cards in this deck um the red is so profound as well as like just the energy it gives but it does say dance with the universe here i feel like this is something that you are doing right now in the moment but these are messages from your guardian angel and what's kind of ironic is that both of these individuals are bathing within light energy. And one is a masculine, one is a feminine. So I'm definitely getting this energy for you. Pile number two is like you're balanced. Your masculine energies are definitely getting the downloads that they need as well as your feminine energies. And it's very beautiful. also seeing here one one two three so eleven twenty three could be significant for you i'm getting this strong energy of you like 
moving forward it's crazy to see because like it's just interesting it's like a um following the light like you're trusting the light it literally says tripping the light fantastic so i truly do get this energy for you it even says dance with the universe it's almost like just understand this flow state allow the light to wash over you seems to be very significant maybe working with um your imagination your meditation practices allowing yourself to be showered with this light this light of the universe they want you to dance with this energy let's delve deeper and see what we have oh i love this here we have a card number 37 with the fire element and desire hmm. maybe there's this desire for you to be dancing with the universe you know to understand the messages and the numbers that are given to you Maybe you are being um, given this gift of fire, this um, new passionate energy possibly coming in for you in pile number two. This is what your guardian wants you to know. There's something about um, your desires, what it is that you want for yourself. Something about how you dancing with the universe can bring about these desires. Hmm. definitely a flow state is really coming through here let's delve deeper and see what do we have we have card number 35 with the closing circle we have pure intent sacred doors timing as well as experience and this is a water card i truly do see this energy of you being connected with um source energy cosmic energy it's like you understand the um interstellar energy orion's belt is coming through there's also something about you understanding how you micromanage the universe you are the universe something about this seems to be significant here there's also something about how you know something but choose not to say it it's like there's some kind of truth that you understand personally it is currently one two three zero on the clock that may be significant for you but truly it's literally like one one two three is already here and you have messages in the numbers literally something about this is is significant for you it's the energies of one two and three amplified by a zero here it's so beautiful to see something about like the fool's journey seems to be significant as well your hair definitely is something that is significant in this message for you from your guardian you could have long black hair you could want long black hair or just long hair in general but like i said meditation seems to be very um important there's also something here about the things that um you are consciously manifesting the things you are consciously putting your energy towards your desires like pure intent sacred doors maybe sacred doors are opening up for you right now in this moment but this energy gives like very ethereal vibes your spirit guides your ancestors they're literally surrounding you this is what your guardian wants you to know You are literally being blessed right now is the current energy is what i'm hearing heed the messages heed the messages is also something that i'm hearing let's delve deeper now we're going to go into tarot we have the woman of music here it says loud and more loud the living music floats upon the air so this is the queen of wands here whenever i see the queen of wands i think about like this bold energy and it's so interesting because here's water and then there's more water here it's like what's really going on and then it's so interesting um you may have a connection to like the fey or um just different creatures it's just something that i'm truly getting but they're of high vibrational light and it could definitely be um the fey here something about you being connected to that realm seems to be significant 
maybe these are your supporters these are your um, companions in some way shape or form Hmm. And it's interesting because we have the woman of music here as well as we have the fire element purely and the queen of wands is a fire card so I feel like the fire within you is very much so lit is very much so active as well pile number two if not then it soon will be this is what your guardian or your guardian angel wants you to know let's delve deeper what's the next one? Oh my god you have two women energies here I love to see it. This is very like um I'm hearing analytical, but very creative. So far there's one, two, three, four feminine figures and one masculine figure here. The masculine here is getting a lot of downloaded energy. While the feminine here is really in her bag is something that I'm hearing. Very intellectual for my pile number twos very creative very bold like attuning to higher heights almost daily hourly you are one of a being that like transforms at a like a hourly pace it's like your beauty is unstoppable um your energy is unstoppable pile number two you've went through sacred doors this is something that i'm hearing divine timing is at play within your energies as well you have much experience as well within the unseen realm is something that i'm hearing your intuition is very heightened loud and more loud the living music floats upon the air it's almost as if your frequency is something that cannot be like not seen that's something like when you walk into a room you're noticed this energy just seems to be very prominent this is what your guardian wants you to know there's also something important about wearing um, white. So I'm seeing here that these feminines here are wearing white. And I don't even, I love to see how this card is like pointing upwards here. It kind of gives this energy of like going up, going up, rising up kind of energy. It also reminds me of like research here. You could be following the stars. You could have some kind of, um, way of always looking into astrology something about the stars seems to be very significant here let's see what else do we have we have trust the timing this is so interesting we were just talking about timing and how things right now are on like this divine timing energy for you um there's definitely something in the air which is interesting because it said here that living music floats upon the air but there's something in like the air that is giving you this kind of energy. It says, trust the wave you came in on and time is not running out. Trust the wave you came in on, time is not running out. Excuse me. Then you have dance with the universe, trip the light, fantastic. Yeah, this is an energy of like literally trusting the wave that you came in on. This is an energy of like whatever has happened has happened for a reason in the time that it happened. You must trust the timing seems to be the energy here. Trust the timing of all things, maybe trust the timing of your desires trust the timing of certain things happening within your energy because all things happen as they should in the way that they should when they do happen even if we do want them to be in a different kind of way it's like what has happened has happened all this left for you to do what i'm hearing is dance with the universe attune with your desires attune with your pure intents there are messages in the numbers here something about one of these cards seems to be significant let's delve deeper we have we're going into some more tarot here we have the six of pentacles yeah something about you receiving here you've already gave what it is that you've needed to give but right now is the time of receiving for you i'm definitely seeing that here 
100%. You've put in the work here. We have three of wands as well. I'm loving how these energies both are like kind of fiery, kind of colored energies. Hmm, moving forward though with this three of wands here. It's like you have your sights on, on the horizon. You have your sights on the future here, knowing that you will receive something. It'll be a justified renewal is also something that I'm hearing. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 35 could be significant for you. The number 8 could also be significant. Funny. So this 6 of Pentacles and this closing circle seem to be significant here. Maybe there's some kind of pure intent for you to receive something here. This is like gift energy here. Maybe you're going to receive some kind of gift soon. Pound number 2. This is what your guardian wants you to know right now. Or maybe you will be watching others receive some kind of gift while you also receive the gift. This is interesting. Hmm. Three seems to be significant. Maybe there are three others involved within this situation here. Let's delve deeper. What else do we have here? What are your guardian wants you know? We have the fifth house here with passion. Making me think about the fun house energy. But basically energy, like what are you passionate about? Because you even have a desire here with the fire element. Your desires, the things that you were passionate about, all of these things seems to be significant for you. Pile number two. Attuning to these energies, doing what it is that makes you feel more passionate more desirable. I don't know, this is an energy. Hmm, four and three reduced to a seven. Divine timing energy. What is your final card? I knew it. One of these had cast away negativity. You are definitely in this um, creative stated energy here. I'll have to pull more. We're going to go into this Lyran Oracle over here. Because this is very interesting. Cast away negativity. Trip the light fantastic. Fire element desire. Closing a circle. That's interesting. Sacred doors, timing, and experience. Maybe you've closed the door on some kind of negativity and you've casted that away. And that made you feel more in your power here. It's like you've let go of something. To go towards what it is that you want. 11-11 is more like a make-a-wish energy. What have you made a wish for? And you're going towards it is the energy as well here. Something about how creative you are. Like, you are so creative. These are the cards that came through. Bottom of the deck, we have the merge. And it says, in the depths rest the treasure. So I'm going to leave that out. So in the depths rest the treasure. You know what's funny? Because we have 34 and 35 here. And then 43 is the same numbers just switched around. And then you have 35, 35, and then 8. 888 eight, eight could be significant here. We have miracles, which is so interesting because here's another rainbow. I just said something about the miracles here for you. Let loose as well as recognition. You're definitely being recognized by the divine here with this triple light fantastic. I'm seeing like the divine are putting like some kind of spotlight on you. Pile number two. Lavender could also be very much so significant for you. You might want to work with those herbs or that flower. But you do have receive here. Like I said, you're definitely in this energy of receptivity. You have abundance, flowing, unification, as well as confidence. Like this is literally confirming the energies that I had said earlier. And these are things that your guardian wants you to know right now. Which is very beautiful. I'm also getting this energy of you being guarded by some kind of... Um, Leo energy 
like maybe this is you being um one of your guardians is a being of the sun or quite literally maybe you have a lion totem to where this energy is what is protecting you this is your guardian maybe your guardian is literally casting away negativity from your aura from your energy that's why this cast away negativity is here and it's so interesting because arms are out wide here and then the arms are out wide here the energies are so receptive for you maybe this is what they want you to be in is a receiving energy because you are literally about to merge with some kind of treasure here some kind of miracle hey pile number three if you have chosen this rainbow fluorite or this star child card here then this is your reading for what does your guardian angel or your guardian want you to know right now what are the messages that they have for you so let's delve in and see here and see what the messages are for you i was truly getting this energy about like you having the world in your hands this is something that either your guardian wants you to believe in wants you to understand the fact that right now you have the universe even in your hands pile number three there's all it's almost as if you've come to some new truth recently here because it's like you can see it in your eyes is what i'm getting from the guardian the guardians even it's like you're being protected by multiple here multiple guardians the eight on this card is really standing out to me as well so number eight may be very significant for you or even just the infinity symbol um something about how you are of this infinite quality here um something about how your energy connects to the universe's stars like your energy is very prominent it's very beautiful to witness and be a part of as well pile number three There's also something about how authentic and rich you are. This is what your guardian wants you to know right now. It's almost as if right now you are um, literally going through some kind of revolution. Some kind of solar eclipse energy seems to be relevant. Of course, the planets are relevant here within this reading for you as well. connected you are to divine frequencies something about um, the matrix like the divine matrix something about that seems to be significant here as well I'm going to go ahead and actually pull from this one deck actually I'm going to put this here put the rainbow floor right here because I'm being drawn to it. I almost put this deck a part of all the others, but it seems as though it was only meant for pile number three here. Very interesting. Something about how your guardians, um, they communicate with you very smoothly. Because they definitely came through for this reading. There she is. What do we have here? Yep, so this at the bottom of the deck. We have Venusian Galactic Council. These could literally be the guardians that are guarding you right now in this moment. We have Star Being Guides, which is interesting because this card here literally says Star Child. So you being this Star Child gives you this capability of having Star Being Guides that surround you and guard you and clearly guide you. <laughs> it says answer the call as well as time to shine. So I feel like this is a beautiful energy it's almost like you're um, stepping to the plate right now you're being called to the plate i'm being called to actually get another card which is interesting right now it's a time for you to shine and i love this energy it's like you're um coming into your true power pile number three and this is what your guardian wants you to know something about this i knew it i had a feeling i saw this in my third eye excuse me inner earth 
So this is deep, deep within the earth that we have our feet on right now in the moment. Um, it says base chakra, strength and security and laying foundations. This is something that your guardian wants you to know right now, which is interesting. It seems as though right now you are in connection with inner earth energy, um, your star being guides, as well as um, this star quality that you have. You are in connection with these things right now. It seems as though you are um, laying the foundation for said energies to be a part of your 3D energy. That's, I feel like that's why I even said matrix. Bottom of the deck, we have Pleiadian activation. So you could be of the Pleiadian energy as well. It says coming together, harmony in the heavens, as well as resolution. So these are energies that are definitely a part of um, your reading today. Is this energy of harmony in the heavens which kind of gives this energy right here. It's like literally the universe is bringing in this harmony. It's almost as if the um, stars are aligned for you. It's also something that I'm hearing. Pile number three. Hmm. The stars are aligned for such a star child that is being guided by their star beings. They are answering the call and shining their light for others to see something about the inner earth is here as well you have connections to this energy this could be i'm hearing past life but this could also be like um just a very ancient and rooted energy within your field that connects you to this energy i'm so curious so let's delve deep we actually have oracle and then we have some tarot here some more oracle and then some more tarot which is interesting all of that and we're going to start from the bottom so what does your guardian angel or guardian guardians want you to know pile number three we have for this you were born and again what i was really being drawn to in this card was the ecliptic energy going on right here and it kind of gives the same vibe here as well and more confirmation on you actually literally being connected to like literally the universe here not sure if you can see it but you see that like her crown chakra is literally connected to this like divine energy more so like the cosmos is what i'm being drawn to say here um this is card number 22 which could be significant for you i'm being drawn to like master builder energy and you do have laying foundations so right now like your guardian angel wants you to know that like you're in this cooperative energy with the universe and creating some kind of foundation here on earth like whatever this is it could be like your business it could be um anything but something about whatever you are doing right now you were born to be doing this and you were getting confirmation from your own guardian your star being guys that you are in this strength and security energy right now you are answering the call and shining is what i'm being called to say so this is interesting it says foster your intention for incarnating in this dimension <laughs> I'm being drawn to say that you've been incarnating in different dimensions prior to this one, which is interesting. Like you've incarnated in this dimension for a set reason, and it is going to be very powerful to the collective is what I'm hearing is some kind of foundation that not only benefits you, but others as well. That's why this connection to inner earth is so prominent. Like there are ancient ancestors and beings that are literally working with you right now. This is what your guardian wants you to know your guardians want you to know i have to be plural i have to be plural because i know there is more than one for you pound number three and it's so beautiful it's like the gifts and the abilities that you have from these connections to your star qualities and your star being guys it's like you are really in your power right now or soon to be in your power to where it's almost like you have this midas touch kind of energy i'm being drawn to see this energy of you almost like fiddling with the cosmic energy with your fingers is almost as if you have healing hands but really your whole energy is healing pile number three and i love to see this because then again like i said you have the universe <laughs> in your hands like she is literally playing with the universe's cosmic dust creating stars in her wake is what is the energy here I feel like you create stars in your wake, pile number three. The things that you do is like, they always succeed. They always create abundant energies. 
So let's see, let's delve deeper. What does your guardian or guardians want you to know? Lovely energy here. You have grand trine with blessings. Your guardians or guardian would like you to know that you are literally in this blessings energy. You are being blessed right now in the moment. You may even right now, currently in your chart, be undergoing some kind of grand trine as we speak. It could be an air grand trine, a fire grand trine, a water grand trine, an earth grand trine. But truly, this energy is definitely within your energy of blessings. For this, you were born. You were born to experience blessings is something that I'm hearing as well. You are on this pathway to some kind of sanctum, to some kind of inner light is also something that I'm hearing. This doorway has been opened to ancestors prior to you and is now being opened for you, which is interesting. This is a part of the blessings here. It's like you're being initiated, inaugurated into some higher vibrational energy. You're also literally being guided by your own star beings. And this is what your guardians want you to know, pawn number three, and I love to see this. Like a living goddess or god, like I love to see it incarnate interesting all right let's go deeper oh i love this card too this is one of my favorite cards in this day we have oceans muse here waters wisdom intuition hermit's light as well as discovery i'm being drawn to say that you are this hermit's light like you bring about very much so much confirmation for others like you are so connected pile number three this is what literally your guardians are saying And I literally love jellyfishes. Like, <laughs> I have to look at what um, spiritual meaning is because jellyfishes have been, like, everywhere for me. And this could be for you as well. Okay, the jellyfish symbolizes energetic flow, entanglement, and reiki. So this is interesting because I was talking about how healing hands may be prominent for you. It's currently 1356 on the clock and that's like four five six in my mind kind of giving this like moving forward progressive energy so it says jellyfish don't need to force anything water currents take them exactly where they need to be they live a life of complete trust and surrender so this could be the energy for you as well it seems as though you have really surrendered yourself to this water's wisdom you literally hear the ocean's muse it's almost as if you are the ocean's muse which is interesting i'm hearing the ocean say that um it loves you as an energy so maybe working with um water may be significant for you around these times pile number three because literally even she has water in her hands so that may be significant following your intuition when working with water seems to be key here and also understanding that you are shining like quite literally you are this hermit's light for others it's almost as if you are um a lighthouse as well naturally like the things that you do almost shine a light for others to follow you're a natural natural born leader is also something that i'm hearing from your guardian pile number three guardians <laughs> but you also have discovery on this card as well so you could be even discovering more about yourself or discovering things elsewhere, which is interesting. Discovering more about inner earth, discovering more about these Venusian Galactic Council energies. Just discovery, discovery, discovery. It seems as though like um, Sagittarius energy could be significant here. Let's delve deeper and see. What do we have? We have contraries with the two of music. Without contraries, it's no progression, attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate are necessary to human existence. It's really giving this polarity energy. <clears throat> so I'm very curious here. Because even to have this eclipse energy happen, what does it mean? Like a sun and a moon kind of energy? Those are kind of like contraries one pulls one pushes kind of energy mm -hmm. i am 
I'm seeing something about how like your guardian watches over you as you go through these contraries, as you go through these energies of love and hate, reason and energy, you know, like it just, like you're always being watched is, is the energy as well. Like you're always being watched by your guardian as you experience the polarities of life, as you experience the polarities of consciousness as well. Pile number three. They are always around you seems to be the energy. Cloud gazing could also be significant for you. Very interesting here. Music seems to be significant as well. So let's delve deeper. Mm, another two here. We have two of poetry with individuality. 22. You do have 22 here. So two, 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 two could be significant for you. Hmm. And then you have two, three, four here. Another progressive energy. I love the yellow and pink smoke here. That could be significant for you. But let's see here. It says individuality. Every man's wisdom is peculiar to his own individuality. So there's something that um, each of you in my pile number three, because I know that there's more than one of you here. Um, there's something that each one of you do individually that gives you this energy alone, gives you this feeling of being and having star quality. It's very interesting here. Um, there's something also about self-portraits, like you may be um, taking pictures of yourself often or something about um, being very creative with this energy as well. Hmm. Every man's wisdom is peculiar to his own individuality. There's something that literally each one of you do so different, but it gives you that that wisdom, that that power, that feeling of individuality. And it's so interesting. So it's really like each light is different here in pile number three. But each of you were born for this energy. Very interesting. Let's delve deeper and see. You are not alone. That's what I'm saying. You Like these guardians were with you for your entire soul's journey is something that I'm hearing. Poem number three. Like you've been in connection with these star being guides, this guardian and guardians that surround you for a long time, like literally for a long time. Like it's to a point where you guys have built some kind of um, energetic connection, like you are in this community energetically more so than having to be in something like physical but it is interesting because it says isolation physical connection and community here very interesting energies still deeper we have the two of cups another two and this is literally the two of wands the two of pentacles and now you have the two of cups so this is interesting about maybe some kind of decision. Some kind of decision is to be made. You literally have answered the call in time to shine here. So maybe there's something that you literally have to step up and do. Recently, coming up soon. Penguins could also be very significant for you. The water is literally all around here. So you have penguins, you have um, jellyfish, inner earth energies, Venusian galactic council here. I'm truly, I'm hearing love, unconditional love as well. And you have the eight of wands. Something is coming in. Some kind of message here. And you may have to really listen to your intuition when it comes to this message. You literally have blessings. So this could really be coming in very soon here with this Eight of Wands. This is to confirm that energy. This Two of Cups is really giving like um, balance within oneself. 
because you even have this mirror here so it's kind of giving like reflections energy so I'm truly getting one that's in love with themselves or literally being able to see the divine within themselves and see the divine see the divinity within themselves and another something about that seems to be significant here so let's delve deeper we have symbiosis like wow this this gives a symbiotic energy with the way how they're like connecting here and even the two of cups something about this seems to be coming through for you here because you have trying sextile more bird energy as well i'm being drawn to like bambi which is interesting i don't know the storyline from bambi <laughs> Birds could definitely be significant for you here. Something about how you are um, re reaching new heights. This is interesting. But you are definitely not alone. Like, I'm being drawn to see that, like, um, this <laughs> deer, this deer here has, like, literally all these birds surrounding it. So it's giving me this energy of, like, you are literally in symbiosis with your own guardian right now in this moment. I'm wanting you to be in connectivity with these beautiful energies here. So let's see. Mm, courage. This is also something that is coming through from your guardian angel right now in this moment is courage. Maybe courage to make that next step. Courage to move forward. Courage to do what it is that you feel you are called to do. You know, fostering your intention for incarnating in this dimension experiencing the blessings that are literally being handed out to you is something that I'm hearing as well. This is beautiful energy. I want to get like another card from another deck here. Just to solidify the energy. Let's go whispers of the ocean because like I said the ocean the ocean seems to be speaking to you here. You have ocean's muse. I'm seeing a lot of water stuff here. Let's see what comes through, what messages does your guardian angel or guardians have for you right now? Pile number three. What is the final message? Uh -oh, uh -oh. We have shared inspiration here, which is interesting. It's card number 20, and then you have 22 right here, so it's 2220. And you literally already have 222 two, two here, which is so interesting. And we already spoke of 2222. Two, two, two. And I know that's a high vibrational message. It's really giving you being in the right place, right time energy. It says, throw yourself into a new project. Be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart here. Literally fostering your intention for incarnating in this dimension seems to be prevalent so let's get one more here as your final message no 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 oh, do I want to take all those? no no thank you we have a drift in shallow water card number 15 and it says take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace interesting you have inner earth here Notice the small things and appreciate them, as well as you have shared inspiration. In the bottom of the deck, you have shedding the old. There is a change coming your way. Cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see these new prospects. Literally, we already said something about this discovery energy here. And I love that it's a lobster. <laughs> I love that it's a lobster. Underneath that, what do we have? It says, in the light of the moon, a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. And one more spirit. Oh, 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 it's jellyfish again. You can't make it up. Jellyfish seems to be very significant for you. And like I said, when we searched it up, what did it say? <laughs> it says, energetic flow, entanglement, and Reiki. So it says, water currents take them exactly where they need to be. So this gives the energy that right now you are literally being taken where you need to be. And I feel like taking this one out because that seems very, what does this say? 44, unexplained wonder, magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now. You can't make this up. And you're shedding the old with shared inspiration. 
Wow, literally adrift in shallow water. <laughs> so it says 33, let your personality shine. You have something no one else has that makes you who you are. Literally, where was that? Individuality. Every man's wisdom is peculiar to his own individuality. Literally, literally. And it just said it right here. Stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine through. Boom. Final message <laughs> from your guardian angel and your guardians in general. Paul number three. I hope that you enjoy it. Be sure to give the video a like, comment, subscribe if you feel called to. I love you. Literally stop comparing yourself to others. Understand your individual individuality and how wisdom grows from that individuality. You following what you believe to be correct for you. You shining that beautiful light that you have, that hermit's light. Basically the energy that you have went through what was needed to go through for your light to be the way that it is today and know that you have something no one else has that makes you who you are and you're a blessing quite literally you're a blessing to the universe you're a blessing to the earth and it's beautiful to see so i'm gonna go ahead and leave her there i love you hey poem number four if you have chosen this hold your center as well as this raw citrine here then this is your reading for what does your guardian angels or what does your guardian want you to know right now what messages do they have for you let's delve in and see what shall the messages be hmm. being drawn to almost like two energies um, colliding. It's almost as if you are coming into connection with some kind of desire or some kind of desired outcome, possibly. I did see 333 when starting your reading, so it kind of gives an energy of you being abundant, feeling abundant. There are a lot of flowers in this card here, so it really does give this energy of blooming here. Some kind of garden as well. Seems to be significant. There is a dove on this card as well, so it does make me think about you um, having peace right now in these, in this moment. They want you to be peaceful. Your guardians, your guardian angels, holding your center, as in like being within yourself. There's also something about um, you coming into some kind of a gateway here. There's also something about. Um, Peace is the keystone to this gateway. It's almost as if you need peace in order to access what it is on the other side of this portal, per se. There is also something about your guardian um, protecting you, allowing you and enabling you to connect more with your heart space, enabling you to connect more with your um, center, holding your peace as well. Hmm. There is definitely abundance within your energies, though. Pile number four. I can sense that. 100%. I can see that you've taken the necessary steps as well to get to this gateway of peace, this um, portal or this desired place to be. But the card definitely does say hold your center. Almost like keep whatever this energy is to you yourself. Um, embody light within yourself see yourself holding this light hmm okay let's delve deep let's see let's see what we actually have here we have some oracle some oracle then we have some tarot here some more oracle and then some more tarot and then we're going to end with some oracle here so let's see what messages your guardian angel or guardians have it says you are in great company pull back to propel forward it's interesting here because even with this whole your center card is a, another being with this feminine figure here holding her company here whatever this is whatever situation we are speaking on right now they are basically saying you are pulling back to propel forward almost like um a bow and an arrow 
It may be that you are the arrow and your guardian is the bow. Something about that seems to be significant. Sagittarius energy possibly. Something may be flying through the air currently in the moment coming into you. And it's of a high vibrational light. It seems like a blessing here. Seeing how we saw 333. We have Aries I am with card number 13. You could have Aries placements or these placements are being highlighted right now. This is what your guardian wants you to know right now. There's a very strong committed energy here. Something newborn as well. Like there's something new here. Something about how you've made your mark as well. Pawn number four. The number 13 is making me think of death energy. So you've gone through some kind of transformation. And with this I am energy here, it makes me believe how you were, you were owning something. Like, it's very interesting here. Mars may even be significant. I love this energy because I saw this in my third eye when I even used this deck for the pile selections today. And I had a feeling someone was going to have the ancestors in this U-Pound number four. And I'm very proud, I guess. And I'm just interested in this energy here. But you do have ancestors. It says family, survival, death, and worship here. I'm getting the fact that um, there's something about how your guardian angels and your ancestors, they have some kind of um, co-created energy between the two and they are helping you. It's almost as if they are worshiping you. There's also some kind of energy about how the worship is mutual. So it's maybe as if you've been giving offerings to your ancestors or there's just something about your family that seems very important here. It also says you are in great company here. This could even be about your family. You having to hold your center around certain individuals. And there is death here as well as survival, you know. Having you hold your center in a certain kind of situation where it seems as though you're having to survive, you know. Push to the limit, be more in this survival energy, more so than fear, you know, with the um, Aries, the red energy. Very interesting here. Lighting candles may be significant here as well. So let's look at the tarot. What do we have? We have Angel of Painting. So I love that we have an angel here and it's of water. You have angel of water basically here with the graphic muse. Yeah, your energy definitely gives like a muse quality here with these two cards. It's, it's like the energy is just give one that's in this peaceful state with life. This could be what your guardian angel wants you to know or wants you to like, you know, start being in this energy of like loving life possibly know that whatever is going on within your energies is meant to propel you forward whether this be some sort of death or this feeling of having to survive in the moment but having to hold your center and be in peace with where you are i actually want to look into like the first few sentences of that hold your center card just to look into it because i'm really curious So let's look at that. Miss number 34, huh? Hmm. It says, have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground. Firmly place your feet there and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience quite quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. I feel like I did say something about um, committed energy. It says you are learning to trust in your own instincts, to take your own journey without comparison to the life path of another. There is no need to become disheartened or distracted by comparisons or judgments. The earth needs your light, which can only come from you. You will offer so much less if you try to make it match your beauty to what you perceive to be the beauty of another. Wow, it even says this oracle brings you confirmation that you are on the right path. You do not need to collapse into fear or doubt to ease old guilt or make others more comfortable. 
it is not selfish or hard of you to be strong. You can hold yourself in high esteem and be gentle and loving to others whilst absolutely refusing to accept any behavior, belief, or attitude of another that would tear you down or cast you into doubt or self-hatred. I say, and I feel like that's the energy. It says you are here to shine a light, to be the lighthouse for others. This is so interesting. You could have been drawn to another pile here. The lighthouse doesn't ask for permission to shine. It still stands, or it stands still, shines faithfully, and those who need it are guided by its light to safety. Do not lose faith in yourself, beloved soul. You know who you are. Be strong. Honor your inner beauty and your personal boundaries. You need to feel safe in your ability to say no as much as you need to know that you will say yes when your heart guides you to do so. Be true to you. Ashe. And that's beautiful energies. Because <laughs> you're doing what's meant for you. Not along with anyone other's judgment to really put you in a different space, right? And that's really the energies here. And I like that. That's confirmation. Let's delve deeper. We have mystery here. The high priestess energy. Um, the number 19 could also be significant. That is the sun card. So really I'm getting the sun and the high priestess with justice card here. I feel like I just said justice. So maybe that could be significant as well. But definitely with this energy of you being connected to... um higher energies it feels more so like um divine knowledge here you know things that others don't need to know about but that's fine is what i'm hearing this is what your guardian wants you to know that you've really been given it's funny to see because you have a dove here and then a bat here and they're both flying kind of gives like this light and dark energy i love that it's like you're one that um traverses both these planes of consciousness and still you hold your center and that's very beautiful here let's see what else do we have we have well and orca elders this is interesting because your ancestors are here so you possibly have lineage or um, past life energy of well and orca here but you have share your song frequency of sound and diving deep and that definitely kind of correlates with this mystery high priestess energy here you have delved, delved deep within your own consciousness to heal certain things and bring certain things to the light and now it seems as though you are prepared to share your song emit this certain frequency that you have which is definitely a high vibrational light something that i'm seeing here so let's go into more yeah your energy is very big as well just as if you are a whale that's the energies and i'm definitely seeing another arc way here which is interesting and it seems as though all of these um, whales and orcas and even dolphins are going into this portal here and it, it reminds me of the same portal that we were talking about earlier so it definitely gives this energy of um i'm getting as above so below or some kind of energy of like your ancestors um your elders they've gone through the things that you've gone th you're, they've gone through the things that you are going through right now in this moment to make it seem as though like they are guiding you in this direction they are guiding you to hold your center as well as they really do have a connection with your guardians which is very interesting the guardian angels that protect you all the time this is interesting so let's delve deeper and see what we have the devil in reverse i'll keep it that way i'm getting this energy of um one that isn't what is it it's like you aren't addicted to certain things you aren't one that can um that can really stay within a certain energy for too long like when you when you sense something starting to become unhealthy you know when it's time for you to walk away from it or it's basically that energy like you've learned to basically um i'm hearing conquer the demons within yourself so it's almost as if like you are understanding both of the light and the darkness of yourself to where now you can make it um to your betterment it's like literally just understanding your light and your darkness with this devil in reverse here it's truly what i'm getting here you've delved literally deep enough to really make a means with like your own shadow so it's pretty much the energy here you've done the shadow work is truly what i'm getting as well 
and it's interesting because seeing it like this kind of gives the fire symbol so i'm getting like fire energy maybe significant for you you may have been doing candle magic or just something that works with the fire this could even be just your passion is coming through mm. the star could also be significant here mm. we do have the queen of pentacles I had a feeling that like some of these cards are going to be reversed so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it that way but I truly do feel this energy even with the Queen of Pentacles right here is like giving this nurturing vibe and like even just seeing that star and then there's another star here like something about the stars seems to be significant here or a pentagram energy nurturing yourself there is literally abundance surrounding you right now in this moment as well. I just heard pregnant, so something like that. You could be pregnant with a beautiful idea currently in the moment. Grasshoppers can also be significant. Even praying mantis, possibly. The color green. Interesting, let's delve deeper. We have first house with arrival here. And the first house is Aries. So it's kind of really giving that energy again. Basically saying you have arrived somewhere, pile number four. And that seems to be very significant here. It's really giving like there's this true born elder energy around you that is literally guiding you to some kind of energy that you want to be in. Because there's so much like portal arrival gateway energy within your reading and about how you can traverse the light and the dark and how you're literally a muse you have ancestors and guides worshiping you for the things that you are doing like you are in great company right now these are things that your guardian wants you to know you are and have delved deep to arrive to a certain point to where right now you are literally being lifted into peaceful times and peaceful energies. What's your final knowledge? Wow. You have knowledge here with this lantern. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting. You have knowledge in your energies. Reading books may be significant for you here. We're gonna get, we're gonna pull some more cards to get a more solidified energy. Excuse me, where am I being guided to? Let's go Visions of the Soul. Because I feel like you've delved deep within your own soul. Let's see what this energy has for you. What energy is to come through for you after delving so deep? What messages does the Guardian of my pile number four is? What messages do we have? We have Spiritual Power here, card number 31 can't make this up you're very powerful here you have yin and yang divine union you are very balanced like i said you know the energies of both the light and the dark the masculine and the feminine within and without above and below you know these energies rather consciously or subconsciously but they are here to help you they are helping you like your dna remembers these things and you also have transformation through connection and this could be through the connection to your ancestors here or just through to the connection that you have with your own guardian bottom of the deck you have cosmic tones of light this is very high vibrational energy here you're literally connected with tones of light as well as guardians that are protecting you with such high vibrational spiritual power here within your dna within even the beings that surround you guiding you transforming you through just these high vibrational connections that you have and this is through your soul as well pile number four very interesting energy look at this regeneration another 34 and that matches this hold your center here like as you hold your center you are regenerating it's also something that i'm here very beautiful energy we're going to take that out as well and then we have 32 with intuition following your 
intuition seems to be very important here around these times. This is what I'm hearing from your guardians, panel number four. Wow. And you have this knowledge here as well. So let's actually get one final card and then I'll go ahead and let you go. One final card from my personal deck. And we're gonna see what messages, what messages does the guardians, angels of the pond before have. You have higher calling, you've already answered rest now. I feel like this is that energy of you holding your center. You've done what needs to be done. You've connected with what needs to be connected. You've attuned to some kind of knowledge, to some kind of energy. Like you are following your intuition even, especially with this high priestess here. Literally connected to the unseen realm on a whole different kind of level here. I'm gonna draw to this here. We have Vertuvian man, this is interesting. You have exercise, the body, health, and circadian rhythm. We also have white energy, interesting. Base, light energy, masculine, divine. Very interesting. I'm being drawn to say like rainbow energy. What do we have? It says you graduate in your sleep. I'm also being drawn to say that like while in your sleep, you tune to the earth. You are grounding in your sleep as well. Um, you have either here. You also have dark matter, unknown energy, fifth element, sixth sense energy. You are very connected here, 100%. Let's get like two or three more cards, spirit. We have vivid dreams. Pay attention. Pay attention to your dreams. Hmm, Sophia, a high vibrational spirit of the earth. I'm being drawn to take all these. You have loving archangels are guarding this situation. Uh oh. Some of your guardians are archangels here. Um, we have high vibrations. Can't make this up. Um, we have the color red with the cosmic plan, kundalini energy, rooted energy, survival, fears, shadow. That's interesting because we spoke with that with this red here around the Aries that may be significant for you. Um, we also have love here. Love is all around you. Do not forget. What's this? We have orange. Do not forget to breathe. It's so much do not forget energy. Beauty is everywhere. You are glowing and have a heart that's connected to the universe. And that's funny because it's right here with knowledge. The color orange may be significant. Oh, thank you, Spirit. This is the final card here. Eating oranges may be significant for you. Um, eating more red or orange foods could be significant for you. Um, What's the bottom of the deck? We have spirit unseen around us. I'm saying you're connected to these energies. Spirit is involved. Talk with your team if needed. Angels and guys ready to help. Like, <laughs> you are so blessed. You have ultraviolet here. It says bugs. That's interesting because I had got that energy earlier because we were talking about the praying mantis as well as um, a grasshopper energy. Maybe even a cricket. These energies may be significant for you. But, um,. We have a vision that is higher than you because I know bugs can actually see this ultraviolet energy naturally. There's some humans that can see it as well. You might be one of that crew. I did say Mars was significant earlier. Masculine energy, root chakra, tension, the color red, sand may also be significant for you. And as your final card here, we have fly with the angels. So these that's all that i have for you i hope that you enjoy pound number four be sure to give the video a like comment subscribe if you feel called to i certainly love you and i hope to see you around some more um know that you are have literally arrived at a destination that is regenerating you all because you have this power deep within you you know you have this knowledge deep within you as well from you holding your center from you catering to yourself all this time you have literally advanced your rank is something that I'm truly hearing for you, palm number four. Your rank has increased and it will soon be displayed within your vessel, if not already. But you're literally in connection with such high vibrational um, beings and guides due to your guardian, your guardians even. It's very beautiful energy here. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and leave you there. I love you and I will see you around.